the yamas, and we cover the himsa. The himsa, which is when you practice nonviolence, you practice consideration toward others. And the, really the yamas are about taking us from focusing on the negative and living in the positive and focusing on the positive, right? So the second behavior that we talk about is called satya. And that is to tell the truth all the time, every time, and only time, except when that truth is going to hurt somebody. Because we are so adept at knowing, we know when we're going to hurt somebody, right? With our words, they can either cut like a knife or soothe like a caress. You know when you're going to hurt somebody. When you see your when you see somebody coming down the line and you say, "Oh, honey, who let you leave the house looking like that?" <laughs> right? And and that's the truth. Perhaps they don't look the the best put together, but you knew and that was an intentional an intentional ill that you were focusing and you created. And you actually set out an attack Right? But when we say the truth, when we talk about satya, we talk about finding the truth within. There's a deeper meaning than just always telling the truth. Out externally, we always need to tell the truth regardless of whether or not we like the circumstances. My favorite saying is, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Right? So that, what that means is basically this. If you don't want to have to apologize to somebody, then don't hurt them to begin with. Right? So tell the truth, unless that truth is going to hurt somebody, then you find another truth to tell. But always tell the truth. Example, your friend comes walking up, or somebody comes walking up, and their shirt is all, all creased up and perhaps torn or got all kinds of food on there or something and it looks really nasty. You look at them and you say, hey, I love the color of your pants. That's a truth. Or hey, I love how your hair looks today. There's a truth. And you stay away from the negative. Does that make sense? You begin to focus your life on the positive. That's easy. The question that I get about this is what if, what if, in the boyfriend sense, because you guys are all full of boyfriends, what if I know that my, my friend's boyfriend is cheating on her? Wouldn't I tell her? No. Is it gonna my question to you would be this? Is it gonna hurt her if she finds out? No. Yes! Mm -hmm. Keep your mouth shut. Stay out of anybody else's business. You have no business being in their business. If you stay inside your own business, there won't be any problems. Right? So you don't say the truth. So in that case, you refrain from saying the truth and find another truth to talk about. Right? You always find another truth to talk about, but you never talk about the truth that's going to hurt, right? So you have to be very careful. Exaggeration. Exaggeration is another, is another thing that we tend to do and we think it's lightly or white lies. Oh, it's going to hurt, you know. That way I wouldn't hurt your feelings. That's an excuse. That's an excuse. Exaggerations are also lies. Regardless of how you paint them, they're also lies. So we have to refrain from exaggerating. Right? Think about it. The only reason that you would exaggerate is why. Somebody help me with that. Why would I exaggerate? To convince somebody of something? To convince somebody of something. Why would I have to convince them of something? Because probably benefits myself. Because it benefits yourself, right? 
Or what's another reason? To make yourself look better. To make yourself look better. That's the only reason we exaggerate. The truth hurts. The only reason you would exaggerate is to make yourself look better. So in the yogic line, we don't do that. We find the truth. Now that's the outside. That's the easy part. That's when I tell you, okay, tell the truth all the time. Tell the truth all the time. Find a good truth to tell. And if you can't find a good truth to tell, smile and shut up. <laughs> Just smile and shut up, really. Then we go back to the old adage, if you can't find something nice to say, don't say anything, right? And then you will be practicing satya. But now satya goes even deeper. And, it, and even deeper, that means the yogic path right here means to find the truth within everything within everything i have two examples to give you right? we all know that what happened to the real estate market just in 2009 what happened to the real estate market We're it went down. The effects. It, went down crashed. it went down crashed mm -hmm. right and people all over the country were losing their homes and they're still we have a residual effect People are still losing their homes because their homes are not worth what they're paying for, right? We all know that, mm -hmm. right? So let me give you an example of, a, of, a, of how the truth begins to heal. This man, <clears throat> I'm going to change the... I'm going to change everything, right? So I don't ever give you this, the right names or anything like that. You need to know that, okay? This man called Barney. He was a really, really, really well-known, really, really well-known real estate investor. He had all kinds of investors, real estate um, investors investing with him, and he was living really high, beautiful home, and just bringing it, but he was really good, and he would communicate, right? He would communicate. So what happened was, was I decided to invest with him because he communicated, and I saw what he was doing, and at that time, it just seemed the right thing to do. So we invested, okay? The market came crashing down. He could not foresee that. The market came crashing down, and he was devastated. He was devastated to the point where he was losing his own house, and he was losing his own um, integrity, but he kept on communicating. He kept on telling the truth. So when it got so bad that he lost his house and everything and everything was going down and all these investors are out there with, with lots of money that, that uh, we all invested, he sat down with every single one of us, one by one. And in front of all of us, and it really, um, he said, Here's what happened. I don't have the funds to pay you back. I'm really sorry. I will do whatever it takes to pay you back. I don't know how long it's going to take. But I'm telling the truth. Wow. And he cried in front of us. And I looked at him and I said, if you need a place to stay, you can stay with us. And the rest, of the, the rest of the investors did the same thing. He didn't take us up on it, but he wrote a blog because he was determined to help people to make sure that they would not lose money. So he wrote a blog. And subsequently now, here's the good news, because he had the strength to tell the truth and he lived in his truth, He's now earning an excellent income, helping investors that are going down come out of it. He helps 